What's up guys, welcome back to the UFC Arena. UFC Fight Night is coming up. Dominic Reyes vs. Jiri Prohaska. That's an exciting fight. We have a few other names on the card that the more serious fans would be looking forward to. I'm gonna start with Marab Dvalishvili vs. Cody Stamon. Aside from having one of the hardest names to pronounce, Dvalishvili, I mean what even is that? Marab is also one of the hardest fighters to beat in this division. He's a constant, persistent wrestler. He has no problem taking you down from the start to the end of the fight. He, if you get up, he'll try to take you down over and over. But he's fighting Cody Stamon. Cody Stamon is a short, stocky wrestler himself. So I'm wondering if this would be a case where their wrestling cancels each other out. I think, however, that Marab is not going to be deterred by the fact that Stamon is a wrestler and I think he's still going to go to his wrestling. If Cody is able to negate a lot of Marab's wrestling and it turns into a standing affair, I'd be interested to see who wins because neither of them are really known for their striking. I would give Cody probably a slight edge in his striking but I think this is a close fight as this is almost a 50-50 fight. I'm going to go with Marab. I think he's going to wear Stamon out by just holding on to him and hanging on to him everywhere and I think he's going to grind out a decision. This might not be the most exciting fight. So for the next two fights, I'm not going to talk about them, but I do have my eye on Christoph Jotko and I also have my eye on Iwan Kutelabo. We saw um, Kutelabo finally got his rematch with Magomed Ankalaev and yeah, that didn't go well at all. But Iwan, he's always an intense guy, so I'll be interested to see how his fight with Dustin Jacoby goes. I don't know too much about Dustin Jacoby, which is why I'm not going to talk about this fight. Moving on to the co-main event, we have Giga Chikadze versus Cub Swanson. This one is an interesting fight. We know Giga Chikadze has an extensive kickboxing record. He's an elite striker and he's doing pretty well in MMA. At this point, he's 12 and 2. He is taking on Cub Swanson, the veteran. And Cub Swanson is just hanging around, man. You can't get rid of this guy. This guy is good. I have a lot of respect for Cub Swanson. He comes to fight every single time. Win, lose or draw, Cub Swanson comes to fight. And I was really happy for Cub Swanson in his last fight. He fought Daniel Pineda and Daniel Pineda had no respect. You know, he was coming forward as if Cub can hurt him and Cub knocked him out. He's probably still in the shadow realm to this day. And I enjoyed that fight. Now we have Cub once again fighting another upward comer in the UFC. Giga Chikadze has you know, a little hype, a little momentum behind his name. And he's shown his striking prowess in the UFC so far. But Cub Swanson is a good and dangerous striker. I think this will most likely be a standing affair. I don't see it going to the ground unless Cub decides to take it to the ground. So it might be hard for Cub to beat Giga in a kickboxing match. But Cub is a veteran. He knows the tricks, you know. He might be able to get in close. If anyone can do it, Cub can do it. So for this one, I'm going to go with, you know, my little bias pick here. I'm going to say Cub Swanson. I'm back in Cub, you know, I'm in his corner. I want to see him do well, you know. The old man isn't finished yet. He still has some fight in him. So I want to see Cub do well. So I'm going to pick Cub in this fight. But I also think that this is a close 50-50 fight. I think either of them could win and I could see this fight going to a decision, an exciting decision or possibly a finish. But I'm going to go Cub, I'm going to say 51% Cub, 49 Giga. Very close fight. And now for the main event, Dominic Reyes vs Jiri Prohaska. This fight came out of nowhere. Jiri has one fight, one fight in the UFC. And here he is fighting Dominic Reyes for a number one contender spot in the light heavyweight division. This man just exploded onto the scene. I know that there was a lot of hype around him when he was outside of the UFC and he's finally here. He had an explosive debut against Vulcan Uzdemir. He finished him, knocked him out cold in the second round. And Jiri, I didn't know about him until he got to the UFC but now I've done my research and this guy is a problem. This guy is really good. He has a intense pace he has very good finishing instincts and i definitely think it's a tough fight for dominic reyes also jiri is very tall and long and big for this division so his reach might pose some problems for dominic reyes as well and now i'm seeing a lot of people actually saying that you know oh dominic reyes is in trouble he's gonna lose this fight etc etc 
Now we know that Dominic Reyes did not have a very good showing in his last fight. Jan destroyed him. <laughs> like that was, yeah, that was a bad one. That was some serious licks that Jan put on him. But I think that Dominic Reyes went into that fight overconfident. He probably came off the John Jones fight thinking, you know, he was the man because most people thought he won. Myself included, I thought he won. And he, you know, he felt like he was the man, the uncrowned champion, you know, he was just going to go in and smoke Yan. That's what was supposed to happen, right? But obviously, Yan had other ideas. But I haven't lost all faith in Dominic Reyes yet. I think that he's still a really good fighter and I think he's going to learn from that loss to Yan. And he's going to come back motivated. He's going to take his training seriously. He's going to, you know, get that hunger back. I think that now he knows he has a point to prove, especially coming off that loss to Yan. And he's going to come back motivated. And I think Yuri, although he's very strong and powerful, he is a bit wild, right? And he can be caught. And Dominic Reyes, when he's at his best, he's a sniper. He has some very good, precise knockouts, whether he's going backward or moving forward. So, and this might be going against the tide here, but I'm going to pick Dominic Reyes to win this fight because I have not given up on him yet. I think that Dominic Reyes at his best absolutely can knock out Jiri Prohaska. Yuri on the other hand is also very capable of winning this fight because the kind of pace that he keeps and his instincts to finish when Yuri hurts you, he does not let up. It's a constant barrage until you finish and like this man will get tired. So he definitely could put a lot of pressure on Dominic Reyes which is kind of one of Reyes weak spots. We see that he doesn't do well under pressure. We saw it in the fourth and the fifth round versus John Jones. We saw it against Yan in the second round with the barrage. When the pressure starts to build up sometimes Dominic Reyes tends to fade. Hopefully he's learned his lesson a bit and he's able to get himself out of bad situations versus Jiri and he's gonna finish him. So I'm gonna go by a second or third round KO for Dominic Reyes. I could be wrong but we will see anyway guys that's it for this video if you enjoy my content please remember to like please remember to subscribe hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i drop a new video i'll be posting my reactions and as long as there's fights i'll be here so see y'all in the next one